Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't made videos in a very long time, so I'm hoping that this one makes up for it. So today in this video we're going to be reviewing Gourmet Birthday Cake Slime by Scented Slime by Amy. And um, I just received this slime today. This is my first purchase from her. And the slime is amazing. I've already opened it and tried it and it's great it has a great texture and a great smell I just want it to be a little bit more crunchy so I have a bunch of these beads over here I have clear I have some pink and then I have this big pack of pastel colored beads so these are all of the names I just have had these sitting in my closet so I'm not sure exactly where um, I got these this one's just a bag so I'm going to start by reviewing it. So I'm going to start with the packaging. The packaging is really cute. It comes in a nice strong container with a really cute label. It faded a little bit, I guess, in shipping, but it's still really cute. It has like a little little cakes. Um, and then you can see the slime because it's clear. And then it has this really decorative, cute piece of tape just securing the lid. So now we're just going to open it up and the tape comes off really nice and easy like this. Just gonna quickly unscrew it. So that's how it looks when you first open it. So now I'm going to poke it so that you can kind of see the texture. It's very, very soft, but not sticky. And it does have those foam beads in it, so it crunches. I really like the texture of this line. I just want it to be a little bit more crunchy. But I really like it. So now I'm going to take it out. I got the small size. There's a small and a big size. I just got the small one. So you can hear it's very crunchy already. I want to make it a little bit more crunchy. And it smells so good. Like it actually smells like cake batter. Very vanilla. And cakey. So you can see all the rainbow beads in there. And the texture is very stretchy and soft. I'm going to show you. Just poke it on the table. Once again, if I had more of this, it would probably be more satisfying to play with. But I just wanted to see how it would be like first before I ordered more. And I definitely will be ordering more. So for this part, I have a little plastic cup, and I'm just going to be mixing all these types of beads together. So let's begin and open them. So these are the clear ones, and I don't think I want to add too many of the clear ones, because I want it to be really colorful. So I'm just going to open that up and pour a little bit in. I think that's about good. So that's how many of the clear beads I added. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the pink beads, which I think are really pretty, actually. Um, they're called lustered beads. They have, like, a pearlescent shine to them. So I'm just going to open that up. Scissors. Oh, sorry about that. Just going to give the package a cut. And I'm going to add not a lot, but a little bit more than I did the clear. So I think that's good. So these are the beads all together now. 
Now the last bit of beads that I'm going to add are going to be from the pastel beads. I'm just going to open this and show you quickly how they look. So you have some big ones like these, the longer types. And then you just have the smaller candy looking circular beads. So I'm just going to add some really quickly. I think this looks really, really pretty. Okay, so now that I have my beads, I'm just going to lay out my slime and create a little center in the middle and I'm going to start adding them little by little. Let's start off with that first. And you just want to fold the outsides in to incorporate, incorporate the beads. already getting a lot crunchier all right so I'm going to do this again add some more so I just added the last of the beads and this is what it looks like now I'm going to have to say that it was really hard to knead all of the beads in here because they kept like coming out and still they fall out. So I would recommend maybe a, more of a glass larger bead or something that's that maybe bonds better with it. Because you could kind of even hear them right now dropping. Um, but that bonds better with the slime because they do kind of come out. But it does look so pretty and it's very crunchy. So you can kind of hear the difference. But you heard that? They're kind of just dropping. So maybe I added a little too much. Or maybe I added the wrong beads. But I still really like how it came out. And it's still really, really pretty inside. So yeah, that's the review of the Birthday Cake Gourmet Slime. I hope you liked it, and I hope you come back for more because I'll definitely be posting more videos. Thank you.